What's good, y'all? Slime Green Beats back in the building. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make ultra cold melodies. So, just going to go hard, really, and like kind of turn it up a notch. So, what we're going to first do is go to Electrax. I showed the technique where we play on the grand piano first and then we pick a sound. We're not going to do that this time. That can get kind of stale. And almost any time you do the same thing over and over again, it gets stale. So, um,. What we're gonna do is pick one of these actually good sounds from from uh, from uh, Electra X. And Electra X is a is a plugin or a, v, a third party VST. Uh, it's called also called Electra Two. If you guys are interested in purchasing it, I like it because it's actually like not that expensive, even for like a good third party VST. So it's good if you're like on a budget, which mm, probably almost all of us are. <laughs> So I'm gonna go left hand, right hand. Is that a plane? You guys hear that? Dang, where's this plane at? Hold up a second. Dang, bruh. I should have sampled that. I never had a plane that come that close to my crib like that. This is an alien. So we're gonna keep it like that. So left hand, right hand. When you play left hand right at the same time, sounds more connected. We're gonna take as much time as needed to get this pattern right. That's exactly what we're going to put in FL. Same BPM and everything. Boom, dun, 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 It's important to get the right BPM that you play ahead of time. How did I mess that up? Cool. I'm just gonna keep it like that. Just like that. And that's how you get nice, nice, clean, clean melodies. One thing we could try with the chords is to strum these two. So we can go like Alt S here and just strum them just a tad. This is which note is a strumizer. Maybe put the velocity back down. You see like the notes just move a little bit. Ah, oh, it's better when it actually plays. You can hear it. It's hashtag annoying. Why is it still going? That happened, oh, it's a random pattern way out there. Okay, let's go back here. Strum it. See if it just makes it a little bit softer. Sauce. And up with these, let's hit the Alt R. Alt R. Mess with the velocities a little bit so it sounds more humanized. Because, like, when you're hitting notes, you know, you're not going to hit them with the same pressure every time. So, I'm going to make it sound more like live ish. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit, a little bit of sauce on that thing, boy. Should probably turn the panning down. I don't think I'm going to pan like that. Yeah, we can pan a little bit. Now, I, what I do with the, my, my strategy with the melodies is usually I keep building it until I feel like. 
Yeah, it's too much. And then if it's too if it's too much, I just take that one out. So like, I don't trip if I make a bad counter melody. It's like, well, if it's not better, I'm just gonna delete it. So that's the technique that I'm gonna use right now. Let's just try the same sound. I usually try to stay in the same kit too. So this Seven Seas one, I'm gonna try to stay in the same kit. And it just usually it just has a similar vibe because that's usually how the kit good kit makers make it. <coughs> It's the same person, so like, you know. Another thing I might try is, um, try to like sing along with the melody. Try to record something in here. So I'll be like, sing along with it. You know what I'm saying? They make this a little bit longer and just get recording. Yeah. Same thing with this. Since this is like the melodies, like the individual ones playing, not chords. Let's mess with the velocities a little bit. Just make it sound more like real. And maybe I might also just take the timing off a little bit so it just hits slightly differently. Cause like, you don't want all your notes just hitting at the exact same time. Cause it kind of just makes things loud when you just stack everything. It makes like a really strange sound. I would also put these in different mixer channels. Some of this like eight. Rule of thumb I have. And let's keep going with the melodies. Maybe we'll try like a different one this time. I think we exhausted that sound. Played like all over the keys basically. Let's try something else. Honestly, at this point, I'd probably go into the bass though. Ah, if that was an ARP, I'd go with it. Your boy sauce in here, baby. Your boy sauce in here. I think I played something different the first time. <laughs> See how that sounds. Yeah. 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 Just add slight variation there. Hit him with the hit him with this. Since it's the same sound, we probably don't have to move it off the grid. Then again, I'm gonna keep going. Like, say a different mi mi uh, mixer channel. Let's keep going. If y'all watching my head, I'm bobbing now. That's how you know it's getting good. If I just feel like, I, again, sometimes I'll just play it by ear, like, I won't actually record it. If I feel like, okay, I've tried different melodies, it's just not working, we can cut it loose. I feel like this sounds pretty good already. 
But let's just see what we, if we can try anything else. By the way, if you guys are wondering where I got this kit, this is Ocean Vu Seven Seas. This might have to be it. Sometimes, like after I do the drums on a last melody, I call that the sandwich effect. Yeah, let's just leave it like that. I think it has a bounce to it. So, last thing we can try is like just adding effects. So, there's gross beats. Like, hey. Usually I would also turn the volume down a little bit before going into the mixer, but that's more mixing and stuff, and we'll just ignore that for now. I'm not a huge fan of gross beats, <laughs> to be honest with you guys. I'm like one of the people that just doesn't like to use it. Um, add a little bit of con Fruity Convolver. I just do the default Fruity Convolver. I can find it. I'm just adding it to all three of these. The convolver will bring it up a little bit. Yeah, that's it right there. That's hot. It's probably the last thing I would add, to be honest with you guys. And yeah, I mean, for now, that's, that's pretty hard. I can move on to the bass and everything else. But that's it for this tutorial. Just gonna stick it to just the melodies, guys. Thank you guys for watching Slime Green Beats. Make sure you guys check out the How to Make Beats book brought to you by Slime Green Beats, available on Amazon. Of course, I never seem to have a copy from filming. Okay, here we go. How to Make Beats book, available on Amazon. But definitely subscribe and um, check out more videos. But yeah, this is a great resource, especially if you guys are new to beat making. This will save you some time. Um, link in the description. RIP PNB Rock. Let's stop the senseless killing, y'all. Um, Slime Green Beats, man. Peace out.